Um, okay, so um, uh, yes, I will. I will talk a bit about the, this process that the, um, the national network of, of urban commons and the and the and the network of urban commons in Naples um, uh, are working on, and is what we call feminization of politics or of politics. Um, um, first, I will come begin for, from a definition. So the, the patriarchalization of politics um, proposes some ideas and tools uh, for self-criticism and collective self-reflection uh, by the part of organizations, realities that have the desire to think and reflect on their organizational and decision-making structures with the aim of making them less patriarchal. Um, and uh, um, this process uh, actually aims to provide time, tools, and spaces to reflect together on one's own reality or the organization in the light of uh, its own working culture, which usually hides power dynamics and unfair distribution of reproductive work and maintenance. Um, uh, the, the patriarchalization of politics then uh, invites us to review and reflect together on some of the daily activities carried out by organizations, uh, which due to the, the repetition become sometimes automatisms, uh, hiding power dynamics uh, that we find difficult to recognize and, there were, and therefore also difficult to fight or to deconstruct. Um, and um, um, we, uh, with the uh, urban commons in Naples, um, actually we are connected to a series of different scales to actually work together on this process. Uh, what I just mentioned as the patriarchalization of politics sometimes um, might uh, feel um, uh, banal, but actually in the review of care within our organizations, uh, we, we talked about uh, going to work on the micropolitics of uh, what we are doing inside the commons. And this is also important because uh, even though we sometimes uh, in some uh, spaces we say words as uh, anti-racism uh, or uh, anti-capitalism or, uh, or, or even anti-sexism, uh, still when we go to the daily activities of our organizations, uh, um, we might not be working on, on fighting these, uh, these inequalities that we actually reproducing within our organization. So um, with this aim, we are part of different networks, uh, one inside the, the spaces, some of the spaces of the network of the urban commons in Naples. Another one, a, a, a network in which we are working on this is a national uh, network uh, of urban commons in Italy. And then we have a European um, network, uh, actually, that calls this process feminization of politics, um, with which we work on these issues. I will just uh, say briefly uh, on each of the scales, uh, how do we work on this? Uh, so the first uh, of the of the scales is the Napolitan Urban Commons Network, and so here in some of the spaces we have uh, this um, working group that is called Fare Comunità, you know, making community, and. Um, uh, these uh, these groups, these working groups, aims to really take care of how we are doing within our organizations, of the relation among uh, the people that make part of the community, and the relation with uh, the outside uh, or the neighborhood of our of our spaces. And here, for example, for us, it was really interesting to discuss um, the the case of, of of Ghent, for example, where there is actually uh, uh, this uh, figure of the neighborhood manager. Uh, I guess there were some from 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 Ghent here and and how is it that this figure makes connection among the uh, realities in the neighborhoods just to actually create synergies and work together so somehow our our working group making community aims at working both within our our space and the people who come here but also with the neighborhood and from this Roberto from Scunizio um, uh, he, he we we discuss a lot on how to 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 take this into our assemblies and to really try to to make uh, create some awareness on on how um uh, uh, the the our relationship 
within our, our organization are so important. So here we are working right now on some capacity building uh, laboratories and uh, formation um, and formation processes. Um, Sorry, okay. The second of the networks we are working with is the National Network of Civic and Urban Emergent Commons. Uh, here we are around, uh, I think like 30 or, uh, different cities with different spaces that are commons. And we are working, in, we have uh, this um, working group which is uh, on a national scale. And there we are working actually on a questionnaire which is, uh, and will enable uh, our, our assemblies uh, to reflect together on the on the care tasks in our community, and then uh, thanks to this auto assessment and reflect collective reflection, uh, we have uh, some different tools, uh, like for example a timer in an assembly, which might feel be something really banal, but again, uh, when we know. Uh, people who know how to talk better sometimes take the, a lot of space in the assemblies. Uh, the question of the, the patriarchalization is how can we give space to other voices, which is a voice that is not being heard, and how actually to take some space from those voices that are always there and that have managed to take way more space than the others because of different reasons, because they don't know how to speak well the language or whatever. So this is actually what we are doing in the national level. And to finish, uh, in the European level, we, uh, since 2019, since January 2019, we began to work in this European network uh, within the, on the process of feminization of politics. Here we have some organizations from Barcelona, Madrid, um, in Zagreb uh, and Belgrade, and uh, we uh, exchange tools and, and thoughts, and it has been like a community of practice in which we have uh, discussed together. Okay, where, how is it? What, where is it that we find difficulties in depatriarchalizing our own organizations, our, our groups of work or communities? And of course, we are always talking about power relations. And the patriarchalization means taking power to, from those who, who have it and who have the most uh, resources then. Yes, yeah, so this is the process we've been doing with the, the patriarchalization of politics.